when I'm in this neck of the woods, I am partial to a visit to the Halls Gap Zoo. This is Victoria's biggest regional zoo, and it needs to be because it's housing around 160 different species of animals, as well as our convoy for the day. You've got your deer, some very vocal birds, and at the moment, the star of the show is the rhino encounter. What's Rue's history? Um, basically, he came. He was born in a rhino wildlife park, then was moved to Canberra Zoo, and then shipped down here um, about October last year. In the wild, they would be a little bit more skittish, a bit more moving away from people. Um, but generally, rhinos are pretty much big puppy dogs in captivity, which makes them pretty amazing creatures to have within a zoo. And anyone that comes to visit the Halls Gap Zoo here can have an encounter like this. Kafaru does encounters at 2.30 every day. Very much happy to come up and say hello to people and see what's going on, which is pretty amazing. Whenever we do encounter, we make sure we stress the importance of rhinos within captivity and what we are doing as basically the Australasian region to help rhinos basically bounce back from their declining numbers. So at the moment you've got Monado Zoo who's trying to get a large herd over from Africa and they are basically one of the main breeders within the rhino community and um, that's where we're hopefully going to get our future breeding herd from potentially to be able to start breeding here. Great. What's the future look like for them? Pretty dire at the moment, to be honest. Yeah, they're um, killing about 10,000 plus rhinos a year. And these guys only breed once every one to two years. So it is very, very dire. Yeah. 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 Oh, is that enough? No. Peacocks, giraffes, red pandas, as well as the odd snake. This is Lulu, she is a jungle python. She's a beautiful creature. These guys come from Queensland. And being pythons, basically they don't have any venom, so they basically strangle their prey instead of injecting venom in. So, so she sees a lot of families and children on a daily basis. So would you like to have a hold of Lulu today? Look, you've said a lot of encouraging things about how often she's handled, but all I heard was strangle their prey. So um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Robbie, once again going above and beyond for you lot at home. Yeah. Okay, oh, this is happening. And support her under there, perfect. Yeah. I'll just bring her head back around. That'd be a support under here for me. Okay. Perfect, good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, this is happening. How so, are you going? Yeah, she just really wants to say hi to me at she this point now. To. And <laughs> that's um, <laughs> certainly yeah. interesting. Um, what you want to do is just, yeah, pretty much hold it like a tree. Um, so that they can naturally move through your fingers and move around your body. Has um, anyone seen that Britney Spears video clip where she's holding the python? Because it looks nothing like this. I'm nearly finished. <laughs> <laughs> Natural. <laughs> You've got this. <laughs> Ever inquisitive Mark loved the encounter. I think he's angling for Robbie's job. So you can feel the... Uh, its muscles constricting at the back of my neck. Yes, yes. Feels a bit weird. And the encounters continue with everyone's favourites. Hi! <laughs> Typical meerkat trying to cheer Robbie's ear off about insurance. Oh, Macca, where are you mates? Not a lot of meerkat love for me. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, meerkat feeding. Yeah. Simples. Part of the takeaway from this zoo is interaction and hopefully, especially with the rhino, this interaction turns into action on conservation. How good was that? Excellent and finished off with a great gift shop, actually. Mark, come on. Wait for me guys, couldn't decide what to get for the kids. 